welcome to this video guys in this video we are going to model the base of a robotic arm so let's begin first open a part file guys because we are working in the part file make sure that you have selected mmgs as units these are millimeters actually select your top plane and select this very first option that is sketch here make a circle guys at this origin point select smart dimensions and specify the diameter and then we want to extrude it so go to features and select extruded boss base specify the length of uh, extrusion and then guys change the background to plain white and we want to chamfer this edge so select the chamfer 10 mm is perfect for chamfer parameter select this only edge guys because we want to chamfer this on the top edge not the bottom right and then guys select this top face click on sketch and select the center line make this horizontal straight center line and here assign it horizontal relation just to make sure that it is perfectly horizontal make here a midline guys like this select the line again make a line up till this circle guys and similar for this circle as well now to complete the circle we need an arc so select this circle and select convert entities now select the trim command guys and trim this external one because we want the only arc now we need to specify the dimensions of these lines so select these lines one by one and specify the dimensions press control button select these two lines and make relation equal because we want the equal relation extruded boss base guys and here select offset specify the offset distance guys and here is the offset distance and now here specify the length of extrusion this is perfect okay so we have specified the offset distance and the length of extrusion and now guys we want to make some chamfers so do not select any sketch just select this chamfer select this corner and the other corner this one and uh, specify the parameter for the chamfer this is fine 45 degrees fine and then click ok now guys I want to make the sketch on this face so select this face and click on sketch and we need to select the line and from this point to this point make a vertical straight line and horizontal and the inclined line till this point vertical and complete the sketch horizontal line select the smart dimensions from these two points specify the distance guys okay and now extruded boss base we can flip it from here flip the direction of the extrusion and click ok mm, right click and edit sketch here select the center line guys from this point on the circle to any point here make a horizontal line press control button select these two points here the center line at the point and make this coincident relation and now this looks fine previously it was a bit exaggerated and now it's fine select the face and click on sketch guys and uh, from this point to this point make a center line drag it up to this point guys because I want to use this reference and here you can see the center line and here is the reference this point to this point make a center line again select the circle and here we have the reference 
I used to make these center lines to make the references. These are great references. Specify the diameter of the circle, guys. Actually, I want to cut it. So, I will cut it from here. Through all because the circle will be cut it through all. Now, I want the same things on the other face. So, what I will do, I will make a plane from the reference geometry select this face and this face a plane at the mid will be created this is the plane that will be created check this box select the mirror and here we need to select the plane so this is the plane right guys and in this features i will select this one and the hole so they will get mirrored so this makes my work simple I do not have to make those extra things I will just mirror them and now guys I will use the circular pattern this circular pattern to save even more time here in the, this direction I have to specify any circular face so this is the circular edge sorry so this is the circular edge that I want make sure that equal distances have been selected and uh, all right in this window i need to select these entities let me select them one by one you have to check the window what is inside of this window no 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 i do not want these so in this window there there should be nothing nothing should be selected only this window we have to select this one and this one as well okay i need four so i will specify here four and this will save a lot of time guys definitely if i have to make them it will take a lot of time okay so now select this top face and click on sketch and here select this circle and offset entities reverse uh check this box and this circle is not getting selected so what i will do i will make a circle guys from this center point to this point make a circle and then select the center line for the references trace these yellow dot guys and make a center line like this these are great references select a line and make here a line like this and then specify the angle between these two lines as 30 degrees i have to make a one more line with the same degrees so i will make another line like this select the smart dimensions specify the angle between these two lines as 30 degrees and now i have to select the trim entities select this first power trim drag your mouse and trim these entities trim these lines trim the circles as well this one this one and um, trim all of these different arcs i would require only this arc so do not trim this one else you have to trim everything extruded cut i do not want through all i want some of the portion at the bottom left so i think this much is fine some of the part on the bottom is still left yeah and now what i will do i will use the circular pattern command to make four patterns so circular pattern in this i have to specify that direction so i will select this edge you have to specify circular edge guys and here i will definitely use this one and four so circular pattern is completed this is uh, a useful command guys it saves a lot of time you should learn this one select this face and click on sketch and now 
make a circle at this origin and specify the diameter okay extruded boss base and here specify the length of extrusion since I want some angle so select this draft and here specify some angle guys you can directly specify the angle and you can see this angle at 45 degree so this is called as draft angle select this face click on sketch and make a circle this would be used for motor rotation although we have the motor attached here so just for the understanding I'm making a shaft here and extrude it up to 20 okay so this is completed guys and now it's time to assign some color and this is the first tutorial guys in which we have modeled this base of the robotic arm and in the next tutorial I will be making the link one of the robotic arm and then link two link three and I will assemble them so see you in the next video guys thanks for watching